In the opening scene, we are introduced to Bryn, a tailor who lives in the middle of the forest. A circular area on her lawn catches her attention when she goes outdoors to mail some items. She posts the packages and sits beside her mother's grave, listening to sounds in the distance. She leaves nervously, and everyone around her seems to not see her. Before going to bed later that night, she writes a letter to her friend Maud. She goes to sleep, however weird noises surround their house in the middle of the night. Sudden electrical wirings fired up turning the lights on and off and making strange musical sounds. Moments later, everything stops and the wind gets stronger waking her up. Bryn gets out of the room confused that the light is out, she sees her house's front door wide open and she comes downstairs. She turns to look into the living room and is startled to discover something odd and not human making creepy noises. Bryn gets alarmed and starts to back away, but the thing notices her because of a creaking floorboard. Bryn realizes that she is dealing with an alien entity, and she panics and retreats back into her room. Bryn ducks behind the bed and hides as the alien opens her room door. When the alien gets inside the room, she hides under the bed. Just then, the alien lets out a loud shriek that scares her. Then, to Bryn's relief and terror, the thing leaps out of the window and she quickly runs to shut the window. She secures everything to make sure the alien is no longer there, but then, the alien's presence on the roof becomes clear to her. She runs quickly towards the door to lock it too, but as soon as she does, the electrical appliances go haywire again. She goes to turn each of them off, but soon, everything goes off and the house completely loses power. She gets uneasy and nervous as weird noises come from the rooftop. The poltergeist-like actions within Bryn's house get more intense as he tries to call for aid and is met with an overwhelming roar. The alien then shows up while she is going down the stairs, and she hides next to the refrigerator in a last-ditch effort to avoid being attacked. The alien moves quickly and ominously, grabbing the phone and putting it back on the switch hook just as Bryn hears the dial tone and thinks about trying to contact for assistance again. The alien soon opens the refrigerator door to imprison Bryn after knowing her location. Bryn eventually gets a good look at the alien as it gets closer. She tries to pry open the refrigerator door by pushing against it. She falls to the ground in a stunned and terrified state. Nevertheless, after she trips over a door that has been set flying by some unknown force, Bryn then gets pursued by the unrelenting extraterrestrial as she desperately tries to flee through the chaotic situation. Bryn is able to seize a fragment of something beside her as the extraterrestrial gets closer, and in her attempt to escape, she stabs the creature in the skull by mistake. Her attacks prove fatal, as the alien falls to its knees and eventually passes away from its wounds in front of Bryn. In an attempt to deal with the situation, Bryn covers the dead alien's body with a bed sheet. She tries to call 911 again but is frustrated when the phone doesn't work and her home still doesn't have electricity. When she gets into her car to go to the city, she also discovers that the battery is dead. With no electricity and a dead car battery, she rides out on her bicycle with the intention of reaching the next city to get assistance from others. She notices an odd sight outside, an overturned courier delivery van. Then, she notices that her neighbor's house is seemingly in disarray and draws her attention. She sets out to visit her neighbor, determined to see how he is doing. But as she travels, something catches her eye, and she is frightened to realize that the peculiar circular symbol she had earlier spotted on her own lawn is mirrored in exactly the same areas on the ground. When she gets to the police station, Bryn sees Maud's parents. Before Bryn can say anything, Maud's mother spits on her face and walks away, followed by Maud's father. Bryn leaves the police station with tears flowing down her face, feeling crushed by the misery and loneliness. She feels completely helpless and crushed. These circular patches that had earlier formed on Bryn's lawn and her neighbor's yard are now visible in front of practically every house she passes as she boards a bus to depart the city. On the bus, Bryn notices a man behind her. When she gets up from her seat, he pulls her back suddenly, and she quickly finds out that the man is not human. She shoves him aside, tripping over herself in the process. A female alien on the bus also makes an attempt to step in and grab Bryn as the alien moves closer to her. Amidst this, the bus driver slams on the brakes, sending the male alien sprawling to the ground. Bryn soon finds his footing again, and in a desperate attempt to get away from the alien that is after her, she seeks shelter in a nearby hidden location. Nevertheless, she finds that the door is locked when she tries to open it. Bryn's position takes a darker turn when she discovers that the building has a cemetery close to it. We learn that her best friend Maud is buried there. She sees the weather quickly turning bad and that heavy black clouds are moving toward her. She tries to leave where she is as she is scared, disoriented, and tired. She is shocked to see that everyone in her community has their hands up and that it is evident that the aliens have taken over their bodies. Fearful of the approaching dangers from the aliens' allies, 
Bryn frantically returns home to protect herself. The horrible stench of the dead alien's corpse clings to the air as she steps into her house making her stomach turn, she proceeds outdoors, following the sticky stuff that keeps running from the alien's mouth. Outside, she quickly learns that the other aliens have surrounded her. She musters the final courage she has and Bryn chooses to face the aliens. In a haste to defend her home from the approaching threat, she makes sure that all of the windows and doors are securely shut and locked. But her makeshift defense is no match as the aliens manage to get past the barrier at Bryn's main door, to her surprise, though, they appear more intent on removing the dead alien from her house. Her surroundings experience a brief but unsettling silence as they leave with the deceased extraterrestrial. But the next instant, when the aliens search her house, Bryn becomes extremely nervous and rushes to the cellar in an effort to hide. Her heart rushes as the relentless extraterrestrial keeps on searching for her underground. She grabs a pair of scissors nearby as a weapon to be used if they discover her, Bryn lifts ready to attack the invader, but the alien uses some telekinesis and is able to effortlessly pry it away from her hand. Then the alien gets up, seemingly curious grabs a picture of her from her hands. Bryn takes advantage of the momentary distraction provided by the photo and slips out of the basement. However, she does not realize that a small alien approaches her from behind and soon attacks her. In a desperate attempt to save herself, Bryn bites her hand to ward off the little extraterrestrial and locks herself in the toilet. But the alien breaks inside the bathroom and grabs her leg as she tries to flee through the window, to escape, she kicks the alien and uses a mop to smack its head making it let go of her. With the broken stick in hand, Bryn proceeds to force the alien into a closet before using the door to eventually knock it out. She then hurries to get away when she hears an alien voice that leaps out of her neighbor's window. But she gets captured by the alien from the bus and her hair is grabbed by him as he pulls her in the direction of another humongous alien making odd hand gestures that make their spaceship get above them. Fortunately, before she gets abducted by the light, she frees herself from his grasp and kicks the man into the light that lifts him towards the ship. But within a few moments, the light from the spaceship turns off and Bryn witnesses the spacecraft exploding into multiple pieces that fly off in all directions. She runs away again to escape from the pursuing alien who gets entangled in some electric wires. This gives her some time to escape as she goes back again to her house. When she gets back outside her home, something falls from the sky. She realizes that the alien that has been chasing her is just above the roof, the giant alien screams, causing other aliens in the vicinity to react to its voice. As the alien moves closer to her house, it stumbles and falls, momentarily losing consciousness. But it quickly gets up to its feet and manages to land a hit on Bryn. Fuel starts spilling from the automobile, and Bryn discovers that the extraterrestrial is stuck inside. She takes this as a chance and lights it on fire. The automobile explodes from the fuel leak as Bryn escapes, this kills the alien. But Bryn's problems are not over yet as a spaceship comes to abduct her. It uses the light beam to get her, but she dodges everything and locks the doors. After that, the alien searches for her inside her room where she had written many letters to her old friend Maud. Behind those crates, Bryn observes the alien, as the alien gets distracted by some of the photos, Bryn tries to attack it from behind, however, it quickly immobilizes her using unseen force. It traps her in a red light and sticks her upward towards the walls. With her unable to move, the alien approaches her and does something that utterly horrifies her. From the alien's mouth, an insect comes out and goes inside Bryn's mouth, but moments later, Bryn thrashes on her bed and wakes up thinking that everything has all been a nightmare. She goes downstairs and sees her old friend Maud. She is overjoyed and apologizes to her, however, she soon realizes that this cannot be real. Thinking of the parasite from before, she forcefully removes the parasite from her stomach using her hands. She then returns back to reality and after that, a loud noise comes out from the whole place. She tries blocking her ears off with her hands when the alien ship appears and takes the parasite away. From the sky, other spaceships also cast their light. Bryn goes to the woods to escape but she sees an alien that creepily looks exactly like her. The alien attacks her but she manages to use a weapon and kills the Bryn wannabe. Wounded and shaken, she tries to walk farther away. But before she can even get a few miles, a huge alien blocks her path and suddenly, a spaceship's light shines on her. She finally gets taken by the alien on their ships. They curiously touch her forehead and soon, a flashback memory of her old friend Maud is shown. During a time when they were playing, they had an argument that caused Bryn to get angry and she used a stone to hit Maud. Turns out, she is the reason Maud died. She is still feeling the guilt from this. The aliens talk with each other and Bryn is sent back to Earth. Days after her abduction inside the ship, Bryn is seen happily going outside. 
Her neighbors greet her but insectoid noises can be heard from them. All of her neighbors had been infected. The aliens no longer attack her as they empathize with her past trauma. Bryn, free from danger, dances away with her alien neighbors. However, for the rest of the world, they are all getting their identity and freedom taken away. The movie ends with the aliens taking over the whole world. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy content like this, please comment and subscribe to our channel.